Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. I have been living full time in an RV for about a month and a half now with my family, my husband and my two little boys, a three year old and a one year old. I've been asked many, many times if I have a blog or anything like that and I don't. Um, I did start one but it didn't last very long because I couldn't keep up with it. Uh, I don't really have the time at night because at night I'm busy doing other stuff. So I figured uh, since so many people had asked that I would start one on how we started to become an RV family and chronicle our adventures, which it has already been quite an adventure on our very short month and a half so far. Um, and I thought I, this video, I thought I would let you guys know how we first started to decide to become a full-time RV family. And... Um, go from owning a really big house to a uh, 360 square feet RV. So this was uh, a really big decision that we had made uh, it slowly over a process of time. Uh, a couple years ago, we, after we had had our first child, we really just didn't want to be in the state that we were in any longer. And so we we're talking and we really enjoyed the state that we were at beforehand which was California um, so we had talked about moving back there specifically San Francisco and we really had a heart for San Francisco and we just really enjoy the city and we wanted to go back there and we just kept looking for apartments anything in our price range and there was nothing there was nothing at all um, to give you a little perspective our mortgage on our home was four hundred and fifty three dollars and uh, that included taxes and uh, insurance and our mortgage all together in one bundle so uh, to look at prices in San Francisco I mean the cheapest for our little family would have been I mean like twelve to fourteen hundred a month and that would have been like some hole in the wall probably so we just decided to keep looking and I had been doing research online and I hadn't even considered RVing but I came across it in someone's blog um, who had just briefly talked about uh, living in an RV full-time and traveling so I looked up how much it cost uh, to buy an RV and what the process of that was and I was very intrigued. I presented it to my husband and he automatically shut it down and said it was crazy and that we probably couldn't do it and why would anyone want to do that? So me and my whole research I wrote it a pros and cons and I presented it to him and sold it on him um, pretty quickly actually. So that's pretty much how we realized that we wanted to live in an RV full-time basically because of the cost. It is so much cheaper to live in an RV full-time than to live in a very expensive city uh, and have a mortgage or rent and stuff like that. So um, especially if you live in an RV that's paid off. So we decided that a couple years ago and we decided before we wanted to leave that we wanted to have a second child because I really didn't want to be pregnant on the road so we did end up having our second child who is now one and um, things just kind of started rolling from there we have still have um, a shoestring budget like very very small my husband had a minimum wage job I have a very small business online that doesn't accrue as much money as it as a previous job I had when I wasn't pregnant. So uh, to save up to buy an RV uh, was awful. We things just would constantly keep coming up. We had to fix a car that we had. We had to buy something, you know, take our kids to the doctor, something would break. So we, we never had money. So um, we had dabbled in possibly getting an RV and just taking on payments 
uh, though that was not what either of us wanted. Um, just a little tidbit, we are uh, God-fearing people, so we did pray about this whole situation, and we still felt um, an RV, living in an RV was what uh, we were led towards. So we had looked at everything in our price range, which can I just being honest, like we had no money saved, like none. So we had looked for about a year for an RV and really just went back and forth with having payments, even though having payments was just unrealistic because uh, we just don't know what jobs we were going to have on the road. So uh, we went back and forth with having a motor home versus um, something you pull like a fifth wheel or a travel trailer. We ended up going with a travel trailer because um, we felt it was less dangerous. <laughs> well, um, we looked and looked for a travel trailer and we couldn't find any that we really liked. So we ended up putting that off and then looking for a truck. Well, we went back and forth with the whole gas and diesel thing and the whole research that I did, um, everything leaned towards diesel. They last longer, they hold their value, um, they're cheaper in the long run to have. So we found a diesel truck and we had no money saved. And the dealership was asking 14, I think $14,000 for it. And um, we just didn't have the money and I inquired about it and I said I was very interested in it and without having any money I asked them if they would knock it down to twelve thousand dollars and reluctantly after several phone calls with the manager um, and stuff they did I mean it was a really good truck it was like hundred and thirty two thousand miles for a Dodge Ram diesel Cummings um, so 12,000 bucks and I, we just prayed that the money would come through and long story short, within a week we had $12,000. Um, we just got very, very blessed. So we were able to buy a truck within a week um, with, and paid it off cash. Uh, so then we looked for a trailer and we looked and looked and looked and we finally found one that we we're like, okay, let's give it a whirl. I think it was $2,500 they were asking. And it was at a dealership. It was very old. It was like 70, 76. And it was a fifth wheel, not something that we had anticipated. Um, and it was 24 feet long. Um, but we were in love with it because it was vintage. And we had dreams that we could just fix this bad boy up, even though we had to be out of our home at a certain time. Um, well, one story short on that, we went to the dealership, we asked the guy if we could end up paying $1,500 instead of the uh, $2,500 because he had had it on his lot for over a year and no one had bought this thing and it was just sitting there collecting dust. Um, and he said that he would go to $2,200 at his lowest and I said I would go to $2,000 at my highest and he refused to budge. So I ended up crying and in the truck alone <laughs> and just was confused as to why we couldn't get a stinking RV. Um, so we ended up leaving and not getting that one and I was really confused. I went home and looked online, looked at Craigslist and long story short with that one, um, I found a listing, my husband found a listing for a 36 foot fifth wheel and I saw the pictures of it and I was like holy moly this thing is huge it looks dangerous like we've never been in an RV ever ever in our life and I don't know if I feel comfortable with hauling something so big which is why we were looking at the 20 something footers uh, because I felt safer with something smaller even though we knew that we would be living in it full time and have very little space uh, I didn't care because I felt like hauling it would be safer. So out of curiosity, I just looked at this posting on Craigslist that my husband had pointed out and he had to work 
uh, the late shift that night. So he went to bed at like eight o'clock. I texted these people and inquired about the, the RV that they had and they told me a little bit more about them. And uh, they were asking above our price range for sure. Um, I don't remember the exact number they were asking for. I think their original asking was like 5,500 and they had lowered it once or twice um, before I had gotten there and uh, the texting became a phone call and I talked to the husband. He was really nice and a God-fearing man, which was pretty cool. And long story short with that one, he and his family were going to become full-time RVers and they had bought this RV for their family. Um, but something happened in their life to where uh, they, they weren't able to do this. So he dropped the price dramatically and blessed our family uh, so that we would be able to do our full timing. So I think we got this RV for $3,000. And so we got a really big 36 foot fifth wheel RV. Um, it's a 1988, I think it's a 1988 uh, Coachman. So very big, very scary. Um, lots of horror stories to tell you in other videos about uh, our first time driving and such. But um, so we got blessed with this and uh, would never have ever, ever owned an RV or been camping in an RV. Uh, we went camping in this RV uh, once, one time, before we became full-timers um, and really kind of just threw ourselves into this lifestyle and without hardly any education. Let me tell you, though, that we did, for t the two years that we decided to become full-time RVers, we had done all the research that you could possibly do online about uh, owning an RV, becoming full-time RVers and such, but I can tell you that reading it uh, doesn't compare to owning one. It is completely different and real life from reading stuff online is just vastly different. So there were many, many bumps in the road, even over the short month and a half that we've been full-time, many bumps so far. but. Uh, so far, I love it. My husband loves it. The kids are very much enjoying themselves um, and trying to find every little space that they can to hide in, play in, and destroy. So we're making the best of um, what we can with our knowledge so far, and we have learned a lot so far. Um, we're DIYers, and so we do pretty much everything by ourselves with the help of YouTube and Google. So I will give you a quick little tour of what I can give you a tour of. And then uh, on another video, I will go over some stuff that I we've learned so far. Um, I also wanted to, to add that we are a bit of the crunchy family or more natural family. So we RV uh, is as best we can um, green. So we have a composting toilet. We use essential oils like crazy. Um, we use, I use mama cloth. We use cloth diapers. Um, we use family cloth. Um, we used reusable paper towels, which are called unpaper towels. Um, so we really try to keep it as green as much as possible. Um, and this is how we lived before. So this is nothing new to us. It's just transferring it into an RV, uh, which is a whole nother video too that I will go over with how um, we live our more natural lifestyle in our RV. So I'll give you a little tour of the little space that I can right now. <clears throat> so this is our kitchen slash living room slash bedroom slash my office um, area so we have the little table which we've never transferred into a bed but we were told that it could um, 
and I reupholstered these. Um, the family who had this reupholstered the cushions and it wasn't ugly at all. It just wasn't our style. So um, I decided to change it and do um, something that reflected our personality a bit more. Um, this is our little entertainment section. We have DVDs, our little iPod holder, DVD player, and TV, and that's my printer that I use all the time for online work. Our second door, which um, we don't use because my three-year-old tore the stairs off, asked me that in a different video. Um, there are all of our books, which we had to downsize like crazy we had so many books we couldn't even fit in here um, so these are just the precious ones that we really enjoy and we didn't want to give up uh, here is our bed so this is not a bedroom as you can see this is uh, the living room to the RV this is a one bedroom RV uh, we have a futon but I can tell you honestly that it has never been a futon uh, so long as we have moved in and we use it in bed mode all the time so that's pretty much that um, let's see there's our cute little family picture that's been drawn I don't know if you can see that um, we did have two dogs one of them passed away before we left and the other one we gave uh, up for adoption um, there's our Berkey because we don't drink water that's not filtered through that because it's gross. Um, and then here's our essential oil diffuser that we use all the time because we love our essential oils. And our very tiny sink, which I mean like three dishes in there and you have a full sink. And so you have to do dishes like um, twice a day for it to not look disgusting. And my husband's Zojirushi, if you don't know what that is, it's for tea connoisseurs. He's obsessed with tea. So here's the second door that we have that we use all the time. And our little coat rack and such. And let's see. Over here, this is where we keep our shoes. Yes, we have a shoe rack, but they are hardly ever in there because we're lazy and tired when we come back. Um, and this door right here is a really big bathroom and then a, a, a opening, there's no other door behind it, there's an opening to the bedroom and there's no door from that bedroom to the bathroom. So I can't go in there right now because my two little boys are sleeping, um, but some other day I will show you the blessing that we got with the monstrous bathroom, which most RVs don't come with. Um, and I'll show you the boys room. So. That is all I got right now, and uh, I will show you some other videos about the lifestyle um, some other time. Thank you so much for watching.